Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a cleanup in Nuke, something like this. So let's get started. So guys, I do have this uh, standard 1080p footage. So before starting anything, so let's set this project to the standard 1080. Okay, so I hope it's in standard 1080. So let's create the clean plate first. So in order to do that, I'll be creating the roto paint node and the shortcut is P. Create this roto paint node, you'll be getting the bunch of tools, something like this. So, and uh, here we have a clone tool, which is similar to the clone tool from Photoshop. So it does almost the same work. So what I will be doing is I will choose a particular frame. Uh, for me, 400th frame is perfect for this footage. So what I will be doing is, so this clone tool has a reference brush and a paint brush. So just like I said, same as in Photoshop. So if you want to see the paint brush, press control, left click and drag. So to see the paint brush. So if you want to increase the size of this brush, you can hold shift, left click and drag. You can keep it any size you want. Or you could just type in a value on which size you want or like opacity or how much hard you would like it to be. So in this case, I'm going to leave it to 25, which is the default size. So this area, I'll be taking it as reference. I will click and drag. I will start to paint it out. So guys, this is a simple process. So I think I'm going to skip it. So guys, as you can see, I have uh, painted out this girl in this footage. So what I'm going to do is, so I have done a clean plate in the frame 400. So on only this particular frame, but I want this clean plate to work on each and every other frame. So what I'll be doing is so I'll be creating a frame hold node. So where I could use this single plate for this entire footage. So I will create this frame hold node and uh, I'll be giving the value as 400 because that is the frame which I have painted it. So if I play this, so this single frame will be there on the entire footage. I'll be creating a roto node in this particular area so that which will be using it as clean plate. So guys, I have created this roto node. So in order to view only this area, so we have to pre-multiply it. So I will pre-multiply it to RGBA and uh, I will be giving it a little bit of feather so that it doesn't look weird. Okay. So now our basic clean plate for this footage is done. So let's keep these nodes aside and work on the tracking part. So I'll be creating a camera tracker node. And we will view the footage. So we do have the motion here on this girl and on this bushes. And there will be a bird which will be crossing from this area to left. So why is this important in camera tracking? So one important thing which we should check before doing is is whether there is an uh, separate motion other than the camera or not as we could see this girl is walking she has an independent motion and we could see a bushes which is moving in air and this bird has a separate motion so this should not be tracked in order to get a proper camera motion so what we will be doing is we will just mask it out so in order to do that, it is simple. Just like before, we have to create a roto node and mask it out from this footage. So guys, I have created this simple garbage roto on this girl, on the separate bushes and on this birds. So we'll be connecting the camera tracker node and uh, we'll be checking how many track points we want. So if you go on the settings, there's an option called as preview features. So if you enable that, so you can pretty see that, so the track points are almost everywhere. So you can increase how many number of features you want, like say 250 or 300. So how many features you want, you can add it. So in this case, 150 is far more enough for me. 
so i'll be using these 150 features and if you go to camera tracker in order to remove these features what we have to do is the roto which we have just created we have to place it in mask alpha so before that i will be connecting this mask to this roto and i will be giving this mask alpha option so that whichever place the roto has been done in that particular place the features will not be added the features will be added on rest of these places so if you want the opposite thing to happen for example you just go to camera tracker and select this mask inverted alpha so that only where you have made the roto that particular place the features will be added so in this case we don't need that so we'll be using mask alpha option So the next important thing which we should focus is the camera motion like uh, how the camera is moving on this footage. So either it has more translation or more rotation or like what is what. We can pretty good see the camera has no translation at all because if it has translation there will be a parallax in this footage as we could see no parallax. So this camera is most probably a nodal pan. So as this is a nodal pan, so we have to set this camera motion to rotation only. So on the next thing which we should focus is uh, the in and out is from 400 to 550 frames. So I'll be giving that particular range. So I'll set it to custom from 400 to 550 which will be 151 frames and uh, we will set the lens distortion to unknown lens and unknown constants as we do not have proper data of it and I will analyze this track. So as this track might take some time, I think I'm gonna skip it. Guys, we did get the solve and the error is 0.78, which itself is a pretty good solve. And uh, we will be deleting the unsolved tracks and the rejected tracks. And uh, we'll be selecting focal length and rotation as this does not have any position value. We will refine the solve and uh, we will update this solve also. So we will be creating the scene of this camera tracker. So I will take this link output and I will create a scene plus. So guys, I have created this scene plus, which is just a 3D representation of this camera tracker. So we have this camera here and a scene here. Scanline render is what we'll be able to view in 2D. The lens distortion is exactly as it sound as how much of distortion is there in this lens while capturing this footage. So I'll be connecting the viewer to scanline render. So guys, if we go into 3D view, this is how the depth will look like. As this is a nodal shot, the depth can't be calculated accurately. So if you want to calculate the perfect depth for this footage, so considering match moving softwares like 3D equalizer, uh, Synthize and PF Tracker will be a better option. As we're not going to do any complex stuff like adding a CG character or a CG model or any prop in this footage, we're just going to use a clean plate so now what we'll be doing is the clean plate which we have created will be projecting it onto this scene so we'll be creating a project 3d node so that we could project this clean plate so i'll create a project 3d node and uh, it has two pipes so we'll be connecting this pipe to this clean plate and the second pipe is for the camera so this pipe should contain a camera in the exact place where the 400th frame was there. We could just copy the camera and paste it here. One problem we do have is, is the animation in this camera. In order to force stop that, what we should do is we have to fix the camera in the 400th frame. So how to do that? Just add frame hold on this camera. So I'll be copying this frame hold and I'll be pasting it here. So now we have the frame hold for this camera so that this will stay hold for this projection. So in order to make this projection work on 3D, so we have to create a card. So what I will be doing is I will connect this card to this scene and this image pipe to this project 3D node. So if we go to 3D view, so we could see the card here. So what I will be doing is I will just move the card somewhere where 
the point cloud is presented so somewhere like here and if we go to the 2d view so we can see that this clean plate has been projected in the exact area where we have painted it so in order to disable the point cloud i will select this point cloud node and hit d i will connect the scan line render to the viewer as we could clearly see that our clean plate has perfectly matched the footage so guys uh, that's all for this video so guys if you like this video please consider subscribing peace out